Hi, good day. I'm JP Smith. I'm the mayoral committee member for Safety and Security. Good day. I'm Zawakin Mavashe, the chairperson of Safety and Security Portfolio Committee. So as the world changes and develops, we are constantly seeing the emergence of new technologies, new trends, new human behavior, and new emerging risks. And this means that we constantly have to adapt our own technologies and our own laws as the city. And that's what we're here to speak to you about today. So the National Road Traffic Act was promulgated in 1996. So a lot has changed since then. To fill in the gaps left by changing technologies and driving habits, the city of Cape Town's traffic bylaw was promulgated in 2010. Now, 12 years later, there has been more changes and our city is again in need of improved legislation. After listening to the concerns of the public, Myself, as the chairperson of the Safety and Security Portfolio Committee, the multi-party committee put in several years of work to fully exercise our powers as contained in Section 4B and 5B of this constitution. The final step in this process was to seek an approval from the Western Cape government in this new traffic bylaw draft. The new traffic bylaw now also critically allows for impoundments of vehicles where they are driven recklessly or with negligence, vehicles deemed to be unroadworthy and vehicles failing to properly display either or both number plates or where motorists of such vehicles are driving under the influence of alcohol. These includes any vehicles involved in any kind of street racing, any kind of drifting, popping or wheel spinning with such enforcement now also extending to the spectators of these illegal events. For too long, law-abiding motorists have suffered at the expense of insufficient legislation as lawlessness and reckless behavior put other road users at risk. With significantly improved enforcement, law-abiding, respectful road users can very soon experience improved safety in our roads once more. The vehicles can now also be impounded. Where such vehicles are not properly licensed or where the driver fails to produce a valid driving license, uh, where taxis and public transport vehicles uh, will be impounded for not holding a correct permit or operating license. An important change is that such operators will no longer able to simply be able to reclaim their vehicle by paying the impoundment fee to get the taxi back on the same day. The impounded vehicles will now remain until the end of the associated criminal prosecution or until all compliance aspects have been met in full. The vehicles that are not collected within three months will either be sold to defray expenses or destroyed. So, the city must confront many challenges and must always try to protect communities from a wide range of threats, ranging from gang violence to recklessness, negligence driving, drug dealing to metal theft. The better we are able to achieve effective enforcement that gets meaningful results and changes behavior as with street racing. The less time we need to spend on taking enforcement actions against the same offenders and the more time we can spend on directing these scarce resources to make communities safer where they are most vulnerable, like gang violence. These bylaw amendments will do just that. 